Hi guys, it's Mental Health Awareness Week and I partner with Charity Talk Club. Our aim is simple, to go out into the street and start real conversations in aid of mental health. And I've challenged my team at Ferocity to go out into the streets and do just that. And here's what happened. Remember guys, it's important to stay mentally fit as well as physically fit. Check out Talk Club for ways to stay mentally fit. Let's all stay talking together. All the best. Good luck. God bless. You sick, you little shitbag. Sign the contract, get your money, and get fucked up, you little shit house. You must have sort of size to me and shit yourself, you little gappy tooth, ugly bastard. Sign the contract. Hi, all. Lost Steve Punch out TV. How are you all doing uh, on this Monday afternoon? Just a quick video. I've uh, just been looking on Twitter and um, seen Tyson Fury's come out with the mental health ambassador uh, BS again to obviously in my eyes to try and win fans over for Ducky and Us Alexander Usek but I was just um, I was just reading the comments man he's getting absolutely slated on there and I don't mean to use this I'm not trying to use this against people who've got mental health problems no not at all what, what I'm trying to say is he's obviously because of the way how he treated Usek people have seen straight through him so for him to be coming back as an ambassador for mental health people don't believe it no more I mean I'll put some of the comments up on on here on the video um, so you can read them yourself or go on his Twitter account and read the comments but to me what I saw a lot of people seen through him a lot of people have seen through the BS now people are saying give it up you're a hypocrite um, the way how you spoke about Usek calling him gappy tooth ugly rat bastard and stuff like that and you're supposed to be an ambassador for mental health yeah, you 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 you're going around giving people and calling people by the way how they look, and um, just glad that you know people can see finally now see what this guy's for. He's just full of shit, as I've always said. He's full of shit. Um, one guy put on <laughs> made me laugh. The comment was, uh, "Fix my mental health when you when you fight Usek." That'll fix my mental health. I was buzzing off that. Made me laugh. But yeah, just the hypocrisy coming from this man. And the, the total BS. It's just finally now people see him for what he really is. You know, ducking fights, swerving fights, giving other fighters constant shit about the way how they look and stuff like that. And then you, then you disappear for a month. And then you come back on you, try and play the Mr. Cool, I'm the ambassador for mental health. Tyson Fury ain't got mental health, he's never had mental health. Not in my eyes he hasn't, never. He just uses that card to try and win over people. <clears throat> and because he's lost fans, boxing fans, because of the way how he treated Usyk and the way how he robbed the fans of um, Undisputed, now he's playing that mental health card again to try and win fans over. There's a few nut uggers still swinging on his nuts like Tarzan. You know, the people who can't really see him for what he is. There's so a few people there saying, oh, great work, Tyson. Great that you're using your platform for mental health awareness. Absolute bullshit. Anyway, let me know what you think. Peace out. Catch you on the next one.